Gardner, welcome along to the barrier draw for the Long Jean Singapore Gold Cup. This weekend marks the sixth anniversary and the sixth instalment of the Long Jean Singapore Gold Cup. Singapore Turf Club is thrilled to have Long Jeans, our partner and official timekeeper and title sponsor of our signature race here in Singapore. Of course, uh, Long Jeans is uh, no stranger to the sporting world, a rich 132-year history and with the uh, association with a horse racing, a sport that combines precision and also elegance. A couple of names that you can certainly associate with Long Jeans, a few of the are to uh, put them in their uh, little uh, satchels and uh, place them in the, the tumbler. And uh, what we'll do then is uh, spin them around a few times and the, the draws will come out totally at uh, random. 2,200 metres on Sunday afternoon. It's the uh, culmination of the uh, Singapore Triple Crown. And of course this year, as we had last year, we've got a horse eligible for the Triple Crown. Unfortunately, uh, War Affair drew poorly last year and uh, couldn't complete the, uh, the Triple Crown, but step it up. And already uh, winner of the three-year-old Triple Crown is... Uh, on target to uh, take out the Open Age Triple Crown if successful in the Long Jean Singapore Gold Cup on the, the weekend. So just completing that, so what will happen here, we'll have a representative uh, draw out the, the horse uh, name, a number corresponding to the, their name, and then we'll ask a representative from the stable to come forward and actually uh, dive into the, the barrel and uh, get the uh, barrier draw for Sunday's big race. If you've got family or friends who can't uh, join us on track on Sunday, just remind them uh, Channel News Asia throughout the, uh, the Asia-Pacific uh, region will have a, a live coverage of the, the big race. So ladies, if you can now give the, the barrel quite a few turns and, uh, and mix them up, so spin them around and uh, do it quite a few times so they get a nice little uh, mix up there. Now, as mentioned, we have uh, Long Jeans as our principal partner in uh, 2015, as we've had for the previous five instalments of the race, and we'd like to welcome from Long Jeans Singapore brand manager, Miss Jazz Guel, to come forward and uh, help us out. Jazz, if you'd like to uh, come up, put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen. Long Jeans, an integral partner of the uh, Singapore Turf Club. So, Jazz, if you could go in there and uh, pull out the, the first number and uh, reveal it. And then we'll ask the, uh, the connections to come forward. And uh, if I could have a look, it is uh, number 14. So uh, number 14 is uh, Order of the Sun. And I believe Desmond's going to come forward and draw it out. Order of the Sun, uh, likely to leave this race. Run a terrific race last time, only overwhelmed in the concluding stages. And uh, certainly in good form. It's won over a long distance in Australia too. Won the Salinger at uh, Flemington. So it was a good horse and expected to... Uh, Makes it uh, a little bit tricky for uh, Order of the Sun, gate number 17 for Order of the Sun. So Jazz is going to uh, dive in and uh, get us a, another number here corresponding to a horse. It is uh, horse number 12, so Perfect P. Perfect P is the, uh, the second horse to, uh, to come out. And uh, Baron Vorster is going to uh, ride the horse to uh, come forward. There's already a, a three-time winner here in uh, Singapore, Perfect P, and looks on target to run a big race on the, the weekend, Sabaran, the man in charge of riding on the weekend. What gate will he come from? Gate number 10. It's not too bad, not too bad for a for perfect P. Just to uh, dive in and grab us another horse name. So I've only had two out. We are drawing all emergencies too. We've got 20, so it's horse number 11, which is Martin. So Martin is the, the next one to, uh, to come out. CK here. Now I think we're going to have uh, Laurie, or oh, we've got Shane. Shane swooped in with a barnstorming finish down the outside and he's, he's taken the initiative here. So Shane, probably a little side wager as always with Laurie, who can draw inside of uh, each other. What have we got there, Shane? Can you turn it? Can I have a look, mate? 14. Okay. Lucky number 14 for, for Martin. Probably not in the, the best of form at the, at the moment, but he has won to 2,400 metres, uh, Martin. So there's a horse that will stay the trip without a shadow of a doubt. So uh, number 19 is the, the next one, Imperial, uh, Imperial March, who's the third emergency for the, the race. And uh, Josh, Joshua Town's going to, to come forward, I believe. Michael's going to come forward. OK, Michael. So it's going to need a bit of luck to get into the, the field. I think that's uh, fair to say. So let's see what uh, barrier he comes up with here, Imperial March. 
one of two horses nominated from the uh, jubilant racing stable. So Imperial March, gate number nine. Gate number nine for Imperial March was the uh, third emergency. As mentioned, we do have four emergency uh, runners accepted for the, the race, so we will draw them all out. But of course, if they don't get a, a run, then the, the barriers will be altered on race day. Horse number 16, which is uh, Trapeus, who won this race uh, two years ago. So uh, Trapeus. Ong Chi Choi comes forward from uh, China Horse Club. One of two runners for China Horse Club to take the uh, place in the, uh, the field. And a big winner of this race two years ago. Let's see where Trapeus is going to come from. Can I have a look? Sorry. Gate number three. Gate number three for uh, Trapeus. So he draws uh, nice and low. He's horse number 16, so he's definitely in the, the field and draws a beautiful gate there. Next one out is uh, horse number five, Emperor's Banquet. So uh, Emperor's Banquet is the, the next one. And uh, Naresh is going to come forward. So Naresh Jaglal, who takes the ride. Naresh went home on the weekend and uh, rode a double at Mauritius on Saturday. So uh, he's in uh, super form, getting back to uh, Singapore racing across the weekend. So uh, Emperor's Banquet and uh, gate number 11. Gate number 11. So not too bad there. The uh, Patshaw runners side by side of the gate. So Bar and uh, Naresh can have a chat in the, the barriers. Number 17 here is uh, Ala Victory. Ala Victory, the uh, first emergency. Eaton Harrington from China Horse Club to come forward and draw out the the marble here. Now, Craig newitt has been engaged for this horse for first emergency. So uh, we'll have to wait and see if it gains a start. <coughs> gate number five. Gate number five is a good one. So uh, a la victory drawn in gate number five should again a run here, first emergency for the Long Jean Singapore Gold Cup on the weekend. Horse number two, uh, Keshwa. Keshwa, the defending champion, the derby winner. Looking to go back to back in the, the Gold Cup, the Long Jean Singapore Gold Cup. So to go Gold Cup would be something absolutely special. Emily Wang joins us from the Avengers stable, the famous uh, black and gold silks who were carried to victory last year. Oh, gate number 18. Gate number 18, so he's drawn uh, wide here, uh, Keshwa. Corey Brown to, uh, to ride, as he did uh, last year and also in the, the derby. Horse number eight is the, the next one, Valbuena. Valbuena and Laurie Laxon's going to uh, to come up and draw. So uh, good luck to to Laurie with uh, Valbuena. Oscar Chavez, I believe, engaged to uh, ride Valbuena on the the weekend, and a good barrier draw was certainly eight. Its chances of winning the the big race. What do you got there, Laurie? Gate number two. Very happy with that. Shane's not so happy, but Laurie's very happy. Gate number two. So well done. Okay, next of all is uh, horse number six, Cheetah on Fire, who was placed in this race last year. Uh, Bruce, I believe, is going to, uh, to draw it out. Yep, here it comes. Uh, Bruce Marsh prepared this horse for a, a very good uh, race last year when it was placed for Lisa Allpress. And uh, this year, Zuriman is going to take the ride. Gate number 12. So uh, Zuriman to uh, steer Cheetah on fire from gate number 12. So working through the field here for the Long Jean Singapore Gold Cup for 2015, $1.35 million race. Mr Spielberg, who's the uh, fourth emergency, is uh, the next out. Shane Ellis, the assistant to uh, Laurie Laxon to, uh, to draw for Mr Spielberg for the Oscar Racing Stable. <coughs> so unlikely to gain a start as the fourth emergency for the other race, but will be well suited by the distance, but potentially not the gate. Gate number 20. Gate number 20. So a sigh of relief from the, the others already in the field anyway. They're happy with that. Horse number one, step it up. Step it up. The mighty little warrior and uh, Larry Laxon is going to draw. The horse is going for the triple crown and he looks a great chance too. Michael Rod, two rides for two wins on this guy in the Panasonic Crunchy Mile and also the, the Raffles Cup. What can you do with this one, uh, Laurie? Gate number one. Wow, the Triple Crown is on the line. In the year that it was won in the US with American Pharaoh, potentially. This one to, uh, to come out. Okay, the, the next one to, uh, to come forward here is uh, horse number three, which is uh, Fastnet Dragon. Leslie Cooter draw. 
So Leslie drew the one with this guy in the derby. Went to uh, run a terrific race. Unfortunately, no number one left for you, Leslie. But you can have four, six, seven, or eight. I'm sure you'd be happy with one of those. So fast Ned Dragon in the air to pink. Fallon Munro, gate number six. Happy enough with that. Good result for a fast Ned Dragon who's in super form. Lucky number six. Beautiful. So fast Ned Dragon who ran that uh, great race in the uh, the derby. Now this is number seven, Captado. Captado and Patrick Shaw is going to uh, draw for Captado. Of course, it came here with a good record. It's 1 to 2,400 metres. So we'll have no trouble at all with the uh, distance of the Gold Cup for 2,200 metres. Gate number four, good result. Good result for uh, Captado. Rizwan Shafiq engaged to ride, and he'll be happy with uh, gate number four. Well done, Patrick. Next one out is uh, lucky number 13, Twickenham. Twicken him the next out. Mike Marshall, I believe, is going to come up and draw. So uh, Mike's going to uh, try and get a nice low gate here. Seven or eight would be nice for Twickenham. Another one that uh, should run it out nice and strongly. It's been in good form for St George Stable, who've had a good run of success recently. Gate number seven. Lovely. Good draw there for uh, Twickenham. Gate number seven. So I've only got a few more. Some awful barriers and uh, one or two decent ones. Horse number nine is the next one, Husey. Husey for the ace in the whole stable. Samantha Hill's going to come forward and uh, draw. The stable favourite, uh, Flax, a recent retirement, so uh, he's not taken his part in the, uh, the Triple Crown series, but Husey's here. And they got him a 16, so he's drawn out wide. CC Wong has been in, engaged to ride uh, Husey. Horse number four is next, Wild Geese. Wild Geese. And Septev uh, Singh comes forward to, uh, to help us out with the, the draw here on Wild Geese. Another one that uh, will have no trouble with the distance, you would imagine. He's run some good races in big races. He's a QE2 Cup winner, gate number 19. An awkward draw for, uh, for Wild Geese. Matt Kennedy is going to take the ride. So only a few more left. Gates 8, 13 and 15 are available. Next out is number 10, that Blue Danube. Joshua Tan to come forward. Blue Danube, a, a brilliant winner two starts ago. Came here with a big reputation from Argentina. Starting to come good and should relish the, the distance of the Gold Cup. Let's see if we can get a good draw. Gate number 8 would be preferable, I guess. Gate number 13. Gate number 13 for Blue Danube. And uh, Antonio de Silva is going to take the ride. So only two more left. Let's have a look at uh, horse number 15, which is uh, Seabros. Seabros, Gus Clutterbuck, I think, is going to uh, draw here. Gus, here he comes. Striding up with some purpose. They've got the leading rider, Manuel Nunez, to ride Seabros. Let's see if he can make it a little easier for Manuel here, uh, Gus. Number eight would be the uh, one you're after. And number eight's the one you got. Well done. Good result. Good result. So there should only be one more ball in there. And let's see uh, who this last one is. It's number 18, Believe Yourself. Believe Yourself is the, the next one. Tomohiro Sikaguchi to come forward and uh, draw it out. Lovely set of racing silks, the, the orange and white. Okay, number 15. You're not so relieved, but we are, that that was the number that came out. So there we go, the, the field step it up, draws beautifully. The uh, Triple Crown is on the line. He's won the first two legs, the Panasonic Crunchy Mile and the Raffles Cup. And from gate number one, with Michael Rod in the saddle, step it up gets a great opportunity. Volplana in two, Trapez three, Captado in four, Ala Victory five, Fastnet Dragon six, Twickenham seven, Seabros in eight, Imperial March in nine, Perfect P in ten, Emperor's Banquet 11, Cheer on Fire 12, Blue Danube 13, Martin in four. We'll be getting some... Uh, uh, interviews very soon if you could make yourself available and also we'd like a photo opportunity so uh, for those of you who are involved in the draw if you could come forward for a photo opportunity ladies and gentlemen put your hands together firstly for uh, Ms Jess Guau to, uh, to help us out with the, the draw thank you very much and we certainly appreciate the uh, assistance of Long Jeans once again and uh, also the applause for the, the lovely Long Jeans jockets who helped us out here this morning thank you very much so ladies and gentlemen, if you could come forward, the people involved in the draw for a photo opportunity and also make yourself available for an interview if asked. Thank you very much.